Amazon Prime Day has come and gone. We've got the SUV um, air mattress. I'm going to try this out as a cheap one. I uh, had mixed reviews, but some of the good ones seemed like it was worth at least trying for the price. It came with an AC slash DC adaptable pump to inflate it, or inflator, I guess it's... Um, I also got a chamois style towel. I'm going to try the microfiber towel, see how that works. Uh, we've got a mystery bag here. I'll have to open up and see what that is. Some little connectors for my DC system. Uh, one of the cooler things that I ordered is this. And I actually thought it was a little bit bigger, which is really nice that it's small. This takes four uh, camera inputs for your vehicle. So your backup camera and then three other cameras. So I'll position these exactly as I did on my old Rubicon. Um, except these will then have a series of wires that go to the individual cameras and then there is this little remote control that allows me to select which camera I'm viewing by several clicks and directional motions that it can go. So what I can do is have my screen in the center console of my Jeep, which is pre-built in from the factory, it's the navigation system screen, um, have this image on it. So just like I had my rock crawling cameras so that I could see both of my front tires from my skid plate looking forward under my transmission so that I could see the pumpkin as well as the two front tires and then the top of the screen would have been the transmission. One of the cameras will be that. I'll have a backup camera so I can just use that as the standard function of it. But if I go off-road, then I have my own spotter. Um, each of the cameras that I chose this time instead of the previous ones that I used these actually have LED lighting on them, and I check the amp rating for these and what this outputs so everything matches out. Um, and these will give me a little bit more light as I'm looking under the wheel well toward the inside of the tire as it approaches obstacles. So I'm going to wire this all up. There are several more boxes coming from Prime Day, um, and I'll inflate the mattress and put it in the back of the Jeep and show you that for now. And here is the mattress inflated in the Jeep. Uh, it has several cells. There are three sections to it so that it can be folded to be used in a back seat of a vehicle if you don't want to have it folded like this so you could sleep the long way if you are short enough or willing to kind of cocoon or fetal position sleep. Um, that also allows me to not have to push the seats forward. I've pushed the driver's seat forward and I'll do that to the passenger seat so you can see it fully extended. Um, as I use a lot of this will be used probably at the beach more often than not while I sit in the back of the Jeep. Um, so I don't need to push the seats forward, but once the seats are all the way forward, I can actually kind of see it falling forward from there. It is actually pretty comfortable. I was actually really surprised that the thickness was good enough um, for the weight. And then that gives you a little bit of a tilt back there of the center console but these actually push down a little bit you can see that there's a space under there and then from in the jeep you have enough room to have your head against the seat and my feet don't even touch the end of the mattress and the mattress doesn't even come close to touching the gate so i have enough clearance to sleep and i'm six feet tall and plenty of overhead clearance uh, the next steps will be some entertainment options including a wi-fi router uh, that'll be run off of a sim a data sim those will be some extras coming in the next few days from this amazon prime day excitement 